Okay, basically in this video, I'm just gonna wrap up some loose ends and then this store will basically be live. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do, here's the store we've got right now. It's on shop.femicoy.com, all looking good. Uh, and here is the main website where the salon has a, its appointments and everything. And I've already added this shop link here in their menu, which when you click on that, it takes you to shop.femicoy. Uh, so now I wanna add a menu here to return to that site. So we'll just come over here, we'll go to online store, navigation, main menu, and we'll add a menu item. And we'll just say return to from McCoy.com and then oh let me just pair the link https from McCoy.com and that'll work add that save the menu and now we've got we'll just refresh oh, this is the one I just opened so return and it'll take us back to femicoy.com and shop and back perfect now people can shop and book appointments if they want and let's see one other thing we want to do is i forgot to mention we'll go back to the main the menus here we set up our legal pages previously but i want to add those in the footer menu so I'll just add the return policy, click link, and you can find those under policies, uh, refund policy, that's fine, like return policy. And also we'll add the privacy policy, so we'll click there, policies, privacy policy in terms of service again these are good for just to have them but also Google likes to see them for their your SEO purposes so we'll save that menu and I'll we'll just go to the store here scroll down it's just a and now that looks a little more professional and definitely a good idea to have your return policy on your store. People will uh, want to know how that works before they buy. And last thing I want to do here is go to online store themes and customize because I want to add a fav favicon up here. And that is under theme settings, favicon and select an image and uh, we've got, got a different one here there we go and this will it'll resize it I have just make sure it's a square image and it will resize it down to 32 by 32 or you can upload 32 by 32 save Come over here. Sometimes this takes a minute. We'll see what happens here. Oh, there it is. One other thing we're going to want to do since this is a local salon that we built this store for is we want to set up, we set up our shipping already, but we want to set up local pickup, um, which is something that Shopify makes real easy to do now and all their plans come with local delivery and local pickup uh, since coronavirus happened. Uh, so all we have to do here is click manage. This location offers local pickup, usually ready. This is when the product's ready to be picked up. We'll just go with one hour because all the products are there in store. And then some instructions if you want. That's fine. And then just click save. And we'll go back to shipping and delivery. And now when people check out, 
they can just select local pickup if they're in the area or if they're coming into the salon and they can just grab their items when they're there we'll add to cart check out and we'll just make sure it shows up on the shopping cart and here we go uh, ship or pick up free looks good all right um, but th this store is essentially live uh, last things we would have to do is just add some more products um, but I think that's pretty much it for now thanks for watching